My name is Jim Kowalski and I've been with the union here for a long time. Long enough so that I can remember when um, our current director first came. And since our current director's been here, we've had three layoffs over the years. Two major ones and one that just affected the guards. And as a result, we've, we've lost quite a few full-time positions over the years. This is a trend that's continued and Thankfully we have a union and we can s stick up for ourselves and um, say something about it. You know, we're not there to make trouble for the, like I said, trouble for the museum. We're there to, uh, to show them that we appreciate working for them, but they have to show us appreciation too as well for us working for them, you know. What I feel is equally important as being a guard at the museum is helping to protect and improve the jobs of our guards. I feel it's very important work and I don't mind the extra effort that we have to put in. I enjoy participating in and worthwhile causes. I, it's just something that I do and I enjoy. I'm a people person, so I love helping out anywhere I can. I'm part-time worker, but if you, if you stay only in your 16 hours or you stay on 19 hours and you not take overtime, you, you cannot live with this money, but you must to work full-time hours to be in normal situation with money. I like to to work with the union because we're working for the good thing for employees. When we need something, you know, for about more hours, more, so we're working together. So this is the name, union. Well, what it's about is will we continue to have the benefits that we need, at least a minimum of the benefits that we need, that we need. will we have a salary at least a minimum of a salary that we need so we can just get by living in Boston. That's what this contract means. I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, it's great working with the museum, you know, for the museum. And, uh, and you know, I mean, uh, we have to do what we have to do, you know, by um, sticking together as a team. What's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong. the museum wants to do is to take away basic benefits that would mean that for many people they can't get by. So this is, this is an extremely important contract for the security guards of the Museum of Fine Arts. And, and what is happening here at the museum, of course, is straight out of management's guidebook to labor around this country, and that is to try to get rid of full-time jobs. 
over and over again is to try to figure out ways of paying workers less. And what you are doing is just part of what all community people should be doing, and that is telling the truth about what is really going on at the MFA. What do we want it now? What do we want a contract? When do we want it now? What do we want a contract? When do we want it now? My guess is the museum is hoping that we'll roll over, you know, and play dead. Looks like the circus came to town. <laughs> You're a good joke. They will see that, that this is a group of people that is not going to roll over. We all need uh, health insurance and benefits. No, I didn't have any we all, we, we all mostly have families. Uh, take care of and that's a situation that should be taken care of uh, as soon as possible. We cannot live uh, in a situation like this uh, anymore, uh, I believe. So something should be done as soon, uh, as soon as possible, no doubt. We are bound and determined, I feel, much more than the museum because this is our lives that depend on that we are not going to, you know, give in on this issue. <laughs> The message from the security guards, they're taking money away from the low-wage workers here. Yeah, we need your support. Thank you very much. All right. When workers have to uh, go out and go into the streets in order to make their just demands known, it's a struggle. You know, it's a, it's a struggle, a, a hard daily struggle to uh, both work and at the same time stand up for your legitimate rights so that justice, in fact, can be done here and you can get the kind of contract that an institution that par parades itself as a worldwide uh, art institution should be giving to each and every one of its workers. So I thank you for standing up because when workers stand up for themselves, they encourage other workers to do the same. And we need, in fact, a spirit of, of unity among workers and community so that uh, justice for the worker can take place in ways that it hasn't before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what you're doing here is an important work for not only yourselves, but for workers throughout this city, throughout this state, and throughout this country. And so we feel comfortable saying to the board of the MFA and saying to Malcolm Rogers that what they are doing is unfair. My name is Russell Guilfoy. I've worked in the museum as a guard for the last 20 years. and. Um, I really love the place. Well, as a guard, my primary function really is preserving these wonderful things that are in this building. I really feel working with the union is extraordinarily important. And um, I really couldn't not do it. I couldn't avoid it or walk away from it. I just can't. I would feel bad if I did. I would feel like I was abandoning people. I think we, uh, we will put the pressure on the museum now to, uh, to come to, to terms with us, to come, you know, to take away their takeaways. As long as they don't respect the workers, they don't deserve respect. An institution that value itself, value its workers. 
an institution capable of half sensitivity is sensitive to their workers. An institution that have any sense of justice offer justice to their workers. When do we want it? Do we want to wait another six months? No! Have we had enough of Mr. Jolly Roger? Fat rat! What do you think of that? Fat rat! What do you think of that? Fat rat! What do you think of that? At the moment that this institution begins to respect the workers, then they deserve our respect. When that institution begins to understand that justice needs to be act and done, then they will get ourselves on their side. In the meantime, here's where we belong, with the workers, where the worker is. My name is Rosa Myers. I'm from Dominican Republic. Um, yo trabajo en el Museo de Artes de Boston. I love my job. Yeah. I, like, I love to talk to the people, you know, explain about the painting. Um, you know, and some people tell me something about the, every, anything they know. The full time is good now because I have good benefit. In part time, I don't have nothing. Nothing, only nothing, nothing. <laughs> uh, and then the union, I uh, have for about six years, so they help me. For me, union is good for me, and for the employees, it's very good. taking on this institution, but not rolling over and saying that they will have justice and economic justice in this place. But I think the best thing that all of us can do is to take the position that we will have nothing to do with them until they come to the table and move ahead to, to develop a fair and just contract. Just like a tree that's standing by the water, we shall not Yes, my name is Mary Berry, and I started to work here at the museum in uh, 1999. Last year was the first time I really had a, the opportunity to, I would say, get in and, and be more on the front line than I has been in the past. And this year, the president of the union, Mike Grayson, asked me to come and sit in on the negotiating team, which I was very impressed. Uh, I uh, did share with him that I knew very little because that was my very first, and and it was a great, uh, great experience. I really enjoyed it. I didn't know so much went into it. The people who are running the museum are not civilized in terms of their actions in relation to the workers, and we need to cut them off. We need to call a spade a spade. We need to call a snake a snake. We need to call a thief a thief. And as long as we continue to have dealings with them, people are misguided. Thank you for doing this, because when you do this, you tell this institution you are going to respect us. Thank you for doing it. We have something they do not have. We have people. We have people. We have people. Why do they want us to be divided? They want to keep us divided because they know that divided, we are not using our major resource and our major resources ourselves together united. The people 
We have people. 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 And our goal then is unity. Our goal then is unity. And so put those together and you have the people united will never be divided. The people united will never be divided. The people united will never be defeated. 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 You did it. For our people, I think this was doubly, this was a double victory for all of the security guards. Number one, they were able to get back, uh, or keep, I should say, their benefits. They were able to get retroactive pay, and they were able to get a decent pay raise. Number two, they all, they realized that we had the power to beat one of the most powerful cultural institutions in this area, that we could do it, that they could do it. They, this, this was, I think this, from my point of view, was even more important and more empowering you know, than the, uh, than the fact that they got, got their salaries and their benefits and all this, which was, you know, which was tremendous. But they also saw they had the power. They can do this. We can do this. That, that was the greatest uh, thing, uh, you know, for people to realize that they have the power to do this.